Why has this fire been so explosive? We'll have a look at this. This is the snowpack last January. This is what it looks like now. California is in extreme drought. And here's Ben Tracy. Less than an hour after the fire started, 320 firefighters were on the scene and five helicopters were dropping water. Last night, we had an additional 10 fire engines on with our regular staffing of 850 people. Deputy yeah, Fire Chief John fire, Tripp says strike teams were pre-positioned last night because of drought conditions and high winds. So there's literally guys in fire trucks waiting for a fire. That's exactly what their mission. They're ready to go anywhere, any place. So we were surged up. We surged up our hand crews. We surged up extra bulldozers. The tender dry vegetation. And These hillsides should be green from day, winter rains. Instead, the vegetation fueling the fire is as dry as it is in July. Los Angeles normally gets nearly 15 inches of rain each year. In 2013, just 3.6 inches fell. There's not been a single drop since January 1st. That's why Los Angeles County kept those two super scooper aircraft for an extra seven weeks. Everything is dry. You can tell. I mean, it's pretty bad. And so, um, yeah, we don't usually have to do this. We found David Newkirk on the roof of his parents' home. And you basically have dry brush from the back of your house all the way up that hill. Yeah, you know, except for a couple of trees here, the rest of it is all dry. I mean, and it, you see it. You'll see when the flames catch these trees, they just go, and there's nothing stopping them. Now, the deputy fire chief told me today that he thinks had they not made the preparations they did, that they could have lost thousands of homes. And, Scott, there is no rain, even in the long-range forecast, and 90% of the state of California is now in severe drought. More drought ahead. Ben, thanks very much.